In today's Kidsburg report, you may associate the YMCA with physical fitness, but one local YMCA is going high tech with a media and arts education program, teaching children about the music industry and more. And the whole program is free and open to new students. Christine Sorensen is here to tell us how it's inspiring local kids. Christine. Well, Susan and Stacy, I was so impressed by the professional the equipment and the product that these high school students are producing at the Homewood Brushton YMCA. The Lighthouse Project is an experience that's preparing them for a future in music, producing, design, and a whole lot more. We can do it if we all stand together. Jordan Dixon has stars in his eyes and the talent, drive, and smarts to back up his dreams of becoming a singer. Pop, pretty, pretty pop, pretty, you know, dance, upbeat, fun. Um, I got my t you know, I'm very good at those. <laughs> Dixon has written more than 300 songs in his 17 years, but at the Lighthouse Project, he's learned about so many more aspects of music, releasing one of his songs on this album from the summer program here. I design my cover arts, I write my lyrics, I sing my songs in my background vocals, I produce my instrumentals, I mix them, I master them, I help come up with the choreographies for them with our dance teachers, so everything, everything that I've ever wanted to do, I've been able to do through this program. James Brown is director of youth development for the YMCA and has been with the Lighthouse Project since it began 10 years ago at Westinghouse High School. It moved to this brand new the last year, and a half million dollar grant from the Heinz Endowments. Adults and students from the Homewood community played a big role in the plans. We had a committee of kids who literally picked out the wall colors, picked out the flooring, picked out some of the furniture um, so that there was really that ownership. In addition to the music classes, they also offer classes in dance, theater, graphic arts, film, photography, and more. Plus, they offer help with homework, and they provide the kids dinner and a ride home in the evening. We put all those youth development principles into creating things, and those the types of media that we make, whether it's a film, a song, are always about giving kids an outlet to talk about themselves or their neighborhood or their hopes and dreams. Dixon just graduated from Westinghouse and will spend the next year recording a whole album at the Lighthouse Project thanks to a grant he got. He's also working here and helping other students. It's giving you everything you need to be successful. All you have to do is take the opportunity. Anything we put our minds to together, we can make a change. And registration for the Lighthouse Project's 10-week after-school fall session is now open. It begins in mid-September. The program begins in mid-September, and again, it's completely free. And you can learn a lot more about it on kidsburg.org, an online resource for kids and families. And we have a link on our website under links and numbers. Great. Seems like a lot of kids would want to get involved with oh, that. Yeah. How many kids are there, and where are they coming from? Well, so right now, about 75 will be in the program at any one time. These are in all different kinds of classes. In addition to the music, I mentioned the design and dance and theater arts, so many cool things going on there. Um, most of them are from the East End, particularly Homewood, where it's really close. But people are hearing about this and how yeah. great it is. I mean, there's a couple kids coming from the North Side and other places because it really is a world class facility and like so it. exciting for these kids to have this opportunity. Looks like it. Yeah, thanks. thanks All right, Christine. thanks. So